Hi, I'm Matt with Hill Country Rifle Company, and today we're excited to do some velocity testing with the new 7mm backcountry cartridge from Federal. If you haven't already heard of this, uh, it's a unique cartridge, mainly because it is using a steel alloy case. The intent of this is to produce really good velocities out of short barrels by spiking chamber pressure higher than a brass cartridge would do. Um, we're we're going to test a 22 inch barrel length, then a 20, then an 18, then a 16 and a half, and document where the velocities are and how they fall off. One of the neat things about this is with the steel case, you're getting much more chamber pressure than with a brass cartridge. The steel case does not stretch or flow like brass. So it will not put more load on the bolt face or the bolt lug. So the, the wear and tear on the receiver, if you will, is about the same as a 300 wind mag. It does not increase recoil, supposedly, so we'll look at that as well. And then we're also going to just take a look at the accuracy across each of these barrel lengths as we shorten the barrel. We want to verify, is the muzzle velocity we're getting true to what was predicted uh, when the cartridge was released. The closest competitor to this is the 7PRC. We've built a ton of 7PRCs, 20 inch barrel lengths, been the most popular. So we kind of want to see how this stacks up against 7PRC. One other benefit potentially of the 7 backcountry is it is on a standard case head, 30-06 case head, if you will. So you will get more rounds in your magazine, four in a standard box as opposed to three uh, in the 7 PRC. We've got our long range hunter in a very basic form. Stock's just primed, metal finish in the white, because obviously we're gonna chop this barrel down in stages as we do our testing. And uh, we'll see how this does, give you all the results. After each test, we will shorten the barrel, then we will square up the muzzle face, once that is done, we will recrown the muzzle with a piloted center drill so we can also test accuracy at each barrel length. We'll only show this operation once so the video does not get too long. Okay, so we've completed our velocity testing with different barrel lengths with the new 7 Backcountry. We're shooting the first load out, which is the Federal 175 Fusion Tipped. 
Um, pretty impressive. Started out, I wasn't too sure. 22 inch barrel velocity uh, average was uh, 29.88. Pretty good, um, but not quite as fast as I think the box claims. And really, maybe 50 feet per second than the same barrel length with a 7 PRC. 20 inch barrel got a little better. We were right at 29.48. Um, that's about 100 feet per second faster than we typically see in a 20 inch barreled 7 PRC with the same bullet weight. 18 inch barrel got even better. We are 2894. Um, so 18 inch barrel is running a good 40, 50 feet per second faster than the 20 inch barrel in 7 PRC. And then I was kind of expecting the 16 inch barrel to fall off and it really did not drop much at all. We were still running 2830 feet per second in the 16 and a half inch barrel. So you can tell that this isn't so much powder burn driven like a standard cartridge, it's really pressure driven. And the steel case technology spiking that pressure is causing the short barrel length to hold up really well against the longer barrel lengths. So as a suppressed gun solution, you know, seven backcountry is looking really, really good. Um, I think my favorite's the 18. If I'm building one for myself, I think that's what I, what I would go with. But they all worked really well.